In this video, I'm showing you one of the best free wallpaper engine alternatives. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Wallpaper engine is a great software, but I do understand not everyone can go and afford it. So this is a great free alternative to it. And let's go and get into this video and make sure you watch right until the end to so the full steps. Here is my plain background and let's go and get into this free alternative. The first step is, is to open up your internet browser. Here I am inside of Chrome and you want to come to a search engine such as Google. Then all you want to do is go and search for a tool called Lively Wallpaper. Now do keep watching, I'm showing you the full setup process and how to go and get custom wallpapers. So go and search for Lively Wallpaper just like so and the official website is rockstanister.github.io. So make sure you come here, click on it, it's going to take a moment to load. Then once it loads, all you want to do is go and click on the download button and just here and then here we are it's going to go and take you to the download options so there are two different options either you can go and click on the installer and it's going to go and start the download for the installer or you can go and click get it from Microsoft and that's going to go and open up the Microsoft store so either of these work absolutely fine personally I go and use the installer but it's up to you so I'm going to go and click on the installer and it's going to go and drop the download and if you're interested here are the system requirements as well to go and see if it's going to meet your computer but I'll wait for this to finish and I'll catch up with you once it has so my download has now finished and either it's going to be in the bottom of your browser or you need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder now personally I'm going to go and drag the installer onto my desktop just so it's easier just like this and now we can go and close off of this or go and minimize it then all you want to do is go and double click on the installer just like so and here we are so as you can see we need to go and select the install mode so for me I'm going to go and click install for me only recommended and then I'm going to go and click on English then I'm going to go and click OK and here we are we now need to go through the installer this is a really simple installer I'll catch up with you once this is finished and just a quick note here, I found the installation process did take quite a long time as sometimes it has to go and download some additional files that it requires, so just be patient with it. And once it finishes, you may need to go and restart your computer as well. So if required, go and restart your computer and then come back to this video. And when you restart your computer, you're going to make this lively setup menu and you want to go and click on next and let's go through this. So personally, I'm going to have it on with starting with Windows, then go and click next again. I'm going to have the normal interface, have the light one if you have a lower end system though, then go and click next. And I'm going to have the taskbar theme off as well. So I'm going to go click next again. So as you can see, it now says completed and Lively is minimize your system tray. We need to right click on the Lively icon to continue. So all you want to do is come to the bottom right of your computer down here. And all you want to do is look for the Lively logo. So either it's going to be in this row here or you need to go and click on the show hidden icon button. And here it is. So once you see it, all you want to do is right click on it and you want to go and click open lively just like so and here we are we're now inside of lively let's go and break this down so just like wallpaper engine lively wallpaper does come with some default backgrounds you can go and use here are a few of them here so for example if i go and click on eternal light it'll take a moment to update and then it's going to go and change my background to that as you can see here it is now another quick note as well if you're setting up two monitors come up to this top right monitor here and it's going to go and say control panel click on it and here we are then you can go and choose the placement method if you want it to be the selected screen, spanning across both screens or duplicating the same wallpaper. Personally, I want it to be duplicated, so I'm going to click here and that's the updated. And if you ever want to close off of the wallpaper, go and click close wallpapers. Then we can quit off this and you want to come over to the left hand side to this plus button just here. And this button is labeled add wallpaper, so go and click on it just like so. As it reads here, we can go and select a file or specify a website URL to set as a wallpaper. Personally, I'm going to go and enter a URL, so let's go onto YouTube and I'll show you the next step. So all you need to do is come onto YouTube and search for something like live wallpaper and you can also add another word such as retro uh, and that's going to go and give it even more detailed results and as you can see here are a ton of retro backgrounds we could go and use. So for example I could go and use this retro sun coconut palm trees one so I'm going to click on it just like so, pause it and you want to come to the top URL and just click on it till it's all highlighted then right click and go and click copy. Then we can go and minimize or close off of this and come back to lively wallpaper and you want to go and click in the enter you and you want to go and click in the enter URL box and go and press on the X. Then all you want to do is right click on it and go and click paste. Then you want to go and click on this arrow and it's going to take a moment to upload as you can see it's processing. Then we just need to go and click OK and it's going to start loading across and getting this wallpaper ready to be used on our computer. It will take around a minute for it to fully load the wallpaper and when you first click it it may look blurry as it downloads it. But as you can see here is our live wallpaper and there we go it's a great alternative to wallpaper engine and it's completely free. If you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.